Hello, I'm Marlene here, and tonight we are going to be continuing with the Fears to Fathom series with episode 2, Norwood Hitchhike. Let me quickly say a huge thank you to Raincoat for gifting me the next two available episodes of the series. So looking forward to playing them. So in this one, we're going to be playing as Holly Gardner, who is a 19-year-old on an interstate drive who experiences unusual happenings that lead to an unplanned stay at a motel. Little did she know what was transpiring down in Norwood Valley. I always love a good indie horror that takes place in a motel, in a shady motel at that. Let's play it. Fears to Fathom, Episode 2, Norwood Hitchhike, June 16th. This happened to me when I was 19. Oh, <laughs> I'm a little over 21 now. I still remember this very clearly because of how creeped out I felt. I was a bit hesitant to write this out for the internet at first, but getting it out may help, even if just a little bit. I was one of those people that loves gaming conventions. I'd go to every convention I get the chance to and sometimes even meet some of my online friends. Though my parents weren't always thrilled at the idea of me going on interstate drives, but a plane ticket would have been too expensive. <sighs> this convention I was at went great. Good. And it was now the day to drive back home. But when I set off, I soon realized the traffic was horrible. I decided that I'd take the long way to avoid the traffic. It was a little over a 12 hour drive. Wow. <laughs> Definitely more intense than the previous episode's story. Oh, look at this. Lost drive. Uh, driving at night is really therapeutic to me. For me. Well, at least it used to be. Uh, we should not text and drive, but let's uh, escape, right? Uh, Aiden, what do you mean? Stuck in the biggest traffic jam of the country. <laughs> that sucks. It's not... Okay, let's... um. Pull over. Well, I admit I was a terrible driver. <laughs> I'm assuming it only says that if you crash, but let's stop for a second so we can read our text messages. It's not too good here either. I think it's the people from the convention. Yeah, that's why I'm rerouting here. You gotta do what you gotta do. And then from Dad, drive safe, Holly. Oh, we could actually go all the way up and read the whole conversation you called. Yeah, I think I'm going to that convention. Could I get your car for like five days, please? Oh. <gasps> Oh my god! <gasps> okay, fastest game over ever. This time <laughs> we're just going to drive, and when we get there, we'll read the text messages. Damn. There's a lesson in there somewhere. Let's speed through this. What are we listening to? I like it. Relaxing. Therapeutic, even. There's a fucker who hit me. <laughs> <laughs> One second, Dad, I'm driving! Oh, we're out of gas. Near halfway through the drive, I realized I was low on gas. Uh, hopefully there's a gas station nearby? Yeah. I can't read those messages right now. Damn, Dad's blowing up our phone. How far are we going? Oh. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. That was weird. I guess we're pulling in here. Can we get out? Yeah, space to get out. Alright, now we can check our phone. Let's uh, read everything from Dad. Hang on, Dad. Alright, yeah. Ch -ch -ch -ch. Can I take your car for five days, please? With who? Aiden. That internet friend? He's a nice guy, Dad. No. You're not going on a ten-hour drive by yourself. Well, I've already made up my mind. I'll drive you. Why don't you understand anything, Dad? God! Let's talk when I get home. Drive safe, Polly. Don't forget to call me. You got it, Dad. Uh, anything else? Leaving now. Drive safe, Holly. Where did you reach? Still about six hours away from the city. Got stuck in a jam. Told you to take that flight. Oh, Holly, it's gonna be late when you get back. Hope you're feeling alright. Alright, let's see what Aiden's got to say. Our internet friend. Discord. We got ticks. So? Uh, I'll see if I can get the car. I'll let you know. Finally going to take Milo on a walk. LOL. 
All right, LOL. Okay, the plan is on. Hell yes. Wait, you're gonna get the car? Yup. Big girl. You sure Ash can't come? I'll get the skateboard too. Saw this really cool skate park nearby. Sounds fun. Discord, where are you? Almost there. I don't see you. Peace shirt? It was fun, I had a good time. Thanks for joining me. Smiley face. Again, you sure driving all the way back? Uh, I don't really have a choice now, do I? Could've left tomorrow morning. Give me a call when you reach back to your cave. Okay, dad. Not sure it'll be this lifetime, though. What? What do you mean? Stuck in the biggest traffic jam in the country? That sucks. It's not too good here, either. I think it's the people from the convention? That's it. I'm rerouting here. You gotta do what you gotta do. Okay. Alright, back to it. Why is there a freaking chair right here? Uh, Norwood gas station. Yeah, let's go inside. Uh, hello there. You look friendly. Ma'am? Uh, hi, can I get $10 a pump too? Please? Oh, there you go. Oh, mom's texting us now. You headed to the bridge by yourself? Uh, yes. Why? Not a lot of people head down there this time of year. Be careful. What do you mean? For about a century now, many people have been going missing down there. And people who went looking for them never returned. Locals say the Nord Belly monster had torn them up and hung them upside down on trees. Uh, <laughs> uh, can I use a toilet? <laughs> it's not clean. Well, fucking clean it, guy. Uh... I'm glad we can still throw things in this game. Who's this? Hey, buddy. <laughs> um, have you heard about the Norwood Valley Monster? Huh? The Norwood Valley Monster. You know anything? Big mistake. Get back here. I'm done talking to ya. <laughs> How's your night going? He just looked at me. <laughs> Where are you headed? He just looked at me. Okay. Not a very friendly man. Uh, get a cola? Sure. Why? Why not? Consuming these items increased your sprint speed. Hell yeah! It's taking a while. Uh, consume. Yeah. Okay. What do you got going on over here? I didn't need it. <laughs> Man, please stop that. Um, sure. Throw some dog food at him. There will be consequences. Should we keep throwing stuff at him? <laughs> kind of want to now. I'm going to call the cops. Am I going to get another game over if I keep throwing stuff at him? That's fine. <laughs> what are you doing? Whoa. Can we throw stuff at this guy? I don't think he cares. Right, let's do five more. There will be consequences. I'm starting to think this guy is bluffing. Go oh, okay. I think he's just repeating now. What are you doing over there? Nothing. Is he playing solitaire? <laughs> I think we've annoyed him enough. Yeah, let's get out of here. Yeah, let's just go. We're just wasting our time. Uh, and one more thing. If you see a woman in a white or blue gown trying to get a ride, do not stop. Just step on the gas as hard as you can. Uh, why? Some people say that she died in a car accident there on prom night. Some say that she seeks vengeance after she was murdered there. Regardless, she's out for blood. Whatever you do, never ever, under any circumstance, pick up a hitchhiker. Those people out there, on the road, putting their thumbs out, they ain't what you think, ma'am. They just ain't. I appreciate you letting me know that. Uh, you got pump too? Thanks. Okay, I think we're good. I'm guessing. 
Is there someone outside there? <gasps> there is. Uh, three messages from mom. It's getting in a van. Ooh, let's check what mom's got to say. Holly? Mom? I don't know if you'll find any shop at this hour, but we're out of dog food. Could you, could you get some for Milo? I'll pay you back. Oh, we better head back in. Gotta get some dog food. Also, it said that our sprint was increased from the soda, but I do not even have a sprint. At least not with shift. Let's go back in. If we can, yeah. Get some dog food for Milo. This. That'll be five dollars, ma'am. Sure. Alright, got our dog food. Let's go. Get the hell out of here. Oh, that's cool. <laughs> I could just put that in the trunk. I tried. I'm pretty sure it's gonna fly out. Well, hopefully that works. <laughs> Let's go. Alright, do not stop for any hitchhikers. As tempting as it might be, it does not matter. I'm not sure why, but at first I went on without getting gas. Oh fuck. Can we go back? My god, I just assumed it would be done. <laughs> My bad. Oh shit, we're gonna get hit again. What are we listening to? You got pump too, thanks. Are we good? I don't freaking know. Which one's pump too? Oh, right here. My car was parked a little- <laughs> This is unbelievable. But it makes sense. We'll get there. There we go. Should be good now. There we go. Now we're good to continue our road trip. I filled the tank and I was off to the road again. And I was off to road again. Oops. Alright, let's get home, Holly. Being on the road, you realize a thing. Monsters truly do exist. And every single one of them looks just like you and me. I can't. <laughs> it's too dangerous to text and drive. Oh. Um. Oh, weird. That was unsettling. Uh-oh. What? There's a car in front of us. Going very slow. Oh my god, why is it flashing like that? Are we okay? Okay, car's gone fucky. Maybe some music? Light in the mood. Can I really see? <laughs> um. <laughs> My bad. Kind of like the silence. Sound of crickets, nature. Where'd that car go? <sighs> uh oh. Let's push. Oh, I hear water. This is nice. Oh, he warned us not to about the bridge, didn't he? This is where the woman with the dress would be. Um, nervous. <laughs> Nothing so far. Okay, we cleared the bridge. Is 
something very creepy about this road. And the fact that our lights keep turning off on their own. I have a feeling she's just gonna be standing in the middle of the road at some point. Oh, there's a car. Weird. It's fine. Ignore it. <gasps> Bunny! Do you hear that? What is that noise? <laughs> Do not stop for any hitchhikers. Another bridge. I think. An overpass of some sort. Uh, there's this very weird thing about that night. Oh no. I saw two big logs in the middle of the road blocking. Thought I could drive past the logs, but those wouldn't budge. Shit. We have to get out? It almost seemed as if someone had deliberately put those there. But I didn't think much of it at the time. Uh, oh, here we go. Okay, we can move them. The fuck? <laughs> oh, hang on. Okay, we gotta keep pushing them all the way. Oh my god. I don't care for this. Is that moving on its own? <laughs> what the fuck is going on here? Something supernatural. I'll just get back in the car. I feel safe in the car. We should be able to get through that. I had to move the logs to go ahead. Okay. Oh, here we go. Oh, I see. I see. Are we good? Please get back to the car. Please get back to the car. Yes, okay, good. <gasps> I might be jumpy. Oh, no, no. Oh, phew. God. Wait. What? The car wouldn't start back up. I don't want to get back out. Oh my god. Wait, no, I wanted to look under the hood. And just like that, I was stranded. In the middle of nowhere with no phone service. I'm not saying that I was starting to believe whatever the bullcrap that gas station clerk pulled. But I would be lying if I say I didn't feel the slight- the slightest unease. Oh yeah, turn that off. What are we doing? What's the plan? I don't mean to- oh shit. Throughout my life I was told not to take rides from strangers. Are we gonna hitchhike? Oh, I think we might. But at that moment, I had no choice. I apologize, I missed a couple dialogues there. I was scared to think how long it would take for someone to pass. Oh my god. Oh my god, that's terrifying. Ooh. 10.23 p.m. <sighs> I saw a car nearing. Okay. Phew. Hello? Help! Wait! Stop! Typical. I don't really blame them, though. Pure evil. Oh shit, I think I missed more dialogue. <laughs> I didn't understand how somebody could leave another human being stranded like that. I mean, I would have too, right? <laughs> we were told not to pick up hitchhikers on the road. At <laughs> 10.43 p.m. Wasn't it just 10.43 p.m.? Was I supposed to do something? Maybe stand in the way? Maybe I need to move the logs back in the way to block the path? God. Here we go. Stand in the way. Please stop. Seriously? Can you believe this guy? <laughs> oh, he did stop. Hi. Wait. You're the girl from the gas station. Oh, it's this guy. 
I didn't think anyone would stop here for me. What are you trying to do out here? Um, I think my car just broke down. I can't call for help. There's no phone service. You think I can get a ride? Where are you heading to? Just to the nearest stop where I can call for help. Hop in. Oh, thanks so much. Could you wait till I get my stuff? Hurry up. Just throw it in the back. I won't be here for too long. I assume we're just getting the dog food. We better fucking hurry. No, this... I didn't want to get the car. I think we got our dog food. Let's go. Was that all we needed to get? Hang on. I think I need to grab my bags, too. Oh, I only had two hands. Okay. He's gonna leave without me, man. Alright, one more thing. Ah, <sighs> creepy. God damn! Okay, one more thing. <sighs> that should be it. Good. Oh, here we go. Uh, I'm done. Can you help me get my stuff? We could have asked him. No. <laughs> it's not safe to get out here. You need to hurry up. I don't have all day. I'm done. Finally, now hop in and be quick. Okay. Let's get out of here. <laughs> Hopefully we can trust this guy. He was pretty rude at the gas station. Uh, thanks, man. I can't believe he stopped for us, though. So you won't tell me who you are, or where you're going? Um, I was just driving home. And that piece of crap broke down on me. Jason. What? My name's Jason. Oh, huh, I'm Holly. You're, um... You're not gonna kill me, right, Jason? Uh, you're really lucky I had to be on this side of the town tonight. Okay. I must say, you are one brave young woman. Uh, how's that? You got any clue what happened to your car back there? Mmm, it's an old car. That's it? I think so. It just broke down, man. I don't freaking know. Uh, so what do you think about what he told you back at the gas station? Uh, he's funny. Interesting. Idiot tells that to every person traveling down here. The LMB to talk, okay. So is it true? What, the monster? Let's see, I've never seen the monster for myself. But there are... There are some things. And I'm afraid your car breaking down could have been one of them. Hey listen, I don't want to sound like that moron, but just remember this. You don't bother them, and you don't be bothered. Okay. Fair enough, man. Maybe go a little bit faster. <laughs> You know, I'm sorry for being a jerk to you before. I'm not the best with people. You know what? Relatable. I get it. I am the same way. Sort of. He was pretty rude. But surprisingly, there was dog at the gas station. You don't need to pay me for it. It's not expired or anything, right? Uh, can't move that. Uh-oh. Oh, no service. Oh, shit. I may have froze up the game. <laughs> Oh, phew. 12.08 a.m. After a little bit of small talk, he dropped me by a motel. Apparently they offered roadside assistance. Besides, I thought I could use a little rest. Be careful, there are all kinds of people out there, he said ominously before leaving. Weird. Thanks, man. You're pretty cool, Jason. You're pretty cool. Vacancy. Uh, hello there. The man was putting out the creepiest vibes imaginable. <laughs> Gail, need a room to shack up for the night? 
Uh, yes, I'm only going to be here a few hours. $40 for single. Pay cash only. Okay. Pay the man. Room number nine, right over there. Uh, talk about the car. Uh, $90. Tommy will take care of it next thing in the morning. Okay. Good. I'll let Tommy know. And one last thing. Try not to wake the other guests. They might not take very nicely to it. I wasn't planning on it. All right, room nine. Uh, let's look around a little bit. Let's get another soda. Yeah, buy another soda. I wonder if we're gonna have to run from something at some point. Because if we do, hopefully we'll have time to stop for a soda. Yeah, consume it. <laughs> okay. Uh, let's see. Room one. I mean, I'm tempted to knock on the doors. I couldn't just go into any room. Okay. So we can't actually disturb them, even if we wanted to. Oh, what's going on right here? Oh. <laughs> Yeah, we do run fast. We do have a sprint. We have five, a six, seven. Our right, eyes will be over here then. Uh, ooh. Dad, I may have to stay at a motel tonight. Ollie. Uh, Aiden. Hey, where are you at? Your dad's calling me. Can we respond? I guess not. All right, that's room nine. Let's check it out. There's no freaking mattress on this bed! It was nice and warm inside, except there was a smell. A type of musty smell you get from old houses. Do you hear something? Yeah, let's close that. Up in the sky. It's a plane! It's a plane! It's Superman! Ah! At least we have cable. Someone gonna come to our door and be all creepy again? Let's check out the bathroom. If we can. <gasps> oh my god! Who the fuck are you? Oh, what are you doing here? God, you scared the crap out of me, guy! <laughs> Who are you? I'm Tommy. Room sivers here at Roadway Inn at the finest shop over in Norwood. Um, what were you doing in there? You know, cleaning stuff. Uh, so the guy at the front desk gave me this room. <laughs> what the fuck, Tommy? You're creepy as fuck. I'm gonna have to ask you to step outside while I make the room. Yeah, I'll just get my stuff. The fuck? That was horrible. Where's my stuff? Hopefully we'll have a mattress by the time he's done in there. I assume my stuff will be over here. Oh, there's a tow truck. Oh, there it is. I really needed some energy soda. I just got one. We'll go buy another one. Oh, can we use one of these? No, I only have two hands, yeah. Hey, buddy. Oh, we do have a bed now, nice. Had a word with Joe about the situation. What is wrong with these people? Mercy, mercy, mercy. But don't you worry, it's safe here. I go get your car. And also, the room's phone is not working. If need anything, just ask at the front desk. We've been trying to get it fixed, but we haven't been seeing enough guests lately. <laughs> Why does he keep giggling? But you have a good night. Yeah, you too, Tommy. You too. Let's go buy a soda. I don't trust that guy. I wasn't feeling it. Okay. Why does this take so long? <laughs> I just want my dang soda. There's so much shit we gotta carry back and forth. <gasps> oh my god. <laughs> that was scary. I'm jumpy. Why am I playing this right now? Right, toss these in. Alright, last two bags. I don't really care if I only have two hands. If this was me, I'd be carrying it all on one trip. Fuck this, walking back and forth bullshit. <sighs> Let's see if we can talk to the guy at the front desk. While we're over here. Right over there, room number nine it is. Oh yeah. Okay. 
dog food. Alright, that should be it. Let's go get some rest. Wait out the night. And hopefully get home. With no more issues. Lois, what are you doing here? <laughs> Just getting the woman's angle on this story. <laughs> Freaking Superman. Alright, let's rest. Let's watch some Superman in bed. Not bad. Um, what do I hear? It sounds like water. Turn this off. Is someone pissing in my toilet right now? Can we get up? I can't move. Can't move. <gasps> Is there someone looking in the window? Call it a foresight, but there was something very off about that place. Yeah, space to get up. What the fuck? <laughs> nice bathroom though. No sink. Here, I'll phone this in. A hot cup of coffee could help, I thought to myself. What, what did I just hear? Someone was really looking into my window there. That was creepy. <laughs> Alright, where can we get a hot cup of coffee? Front desk? Or do we have a coffee maker in our room? We may have had a coffee maker in our room. Uh, hey. You have a great night's sleep. Uh, thanks, man. Alright, we probably can make it in our room. Yeah, let's get back into our room. Coffee maker? Oh, right here, maybe. We do have a sink. Yeah, let's leave that open. <laughs> Where are we gonna get a hot cup of coffee? Oh, right here, maybe? Yeah, right here. There we go. Buy an espresso. Consuming these items helps you stay awake. Okay. Is that what we want, though? Yeah, consume it. Let's go back to our room. Do I hear breathing? What? <laughs> oh. Oh. Everything's all backwards. What did we just drink? The controls are like all fucking wonky right now. I think our room's over here? One message from Dad. Oh, yeah, we're not reading that. Get into your room, let's go lie down. What the fuck? Gosh. Close the door. Close the door. Oh my god, lie down. What the fuck? This is really disorienting. Yeah, lie down. Holy shit. Pretty sure our drink was spiked with something. It's really freaking weird. Three eighteen a.m. Right, we got some sleep, I assume. Why do we get freaking espresso? Oh, the phone's working. Space to get up. I assume we're just here in the other room. Okay, that's creepy. Oh, I hate that sound. Is someone in our bathroom again? Oh my god! Seriously? In the closet? God. Wait, do we have to start back at the beginning? You're joking. Okay, auto-saved. <laughs> Oh, that was the scariest part, is the fact that it might not have freaking saved. I did not want to do that freaking a little bit small talk you dropped me by- oh, okay, so you still have to do quite a bit. Oh god. That was horrific. I'm annoyed. That was annoying. 
behind our closet. The worst part is we have to replay quite a bit. Thankfully, we don't have to replay all of it, but damn. Yeah, I'm not answering any of these. Let's, uh, get this jump scare out of the way. Uh, I should be asking you. Yeah, what are you doing? I'm Tommy. Yeah, that's fine. Please wait outside. That's fine. Let's go get our shit. Ah, uh, that was so lame. Can we just not get the coffee, maybe? Is that what we did wrong? Not a fan of this going back and forth multiple times to carry everything. Like, one of the items we need a one whole hand for is just a skateboard. You can put that underneath your arm. And carry three things. Easily. Ugh. Busy work. But padding. Feels like padding. Yeah, get out of here. That's creepy, though. That's really creepy. Call it foresight for just off at the place. Yeah. The feeling of tiredness was overcoming by anxiety. I didn't want to sleep anymore. Only coffee could help me. Hot cup of coffee. Okay. I'm missing so much dialogue, and I am sorry. It's because I'm trying to look everywhere else, and <laughs> I just miss it very easily. Let's get some of that weird coffee again. Can we choose not to get an espresso? Cappuccino, French vanilla. All right, let's try a cappuccino this time. It's got freaking marshmallows on it. Looks pretty good. <sighs> yeah, consume it. I definitely hear someone breathing in my ear. So weird. There we go. What do we do differently? I guess don't open the closet door. Maybe we can just leave the room. This should have been the checkpoint. Didn't feel safe going out. Seriously? What are we supposed to do? What are we supposed to do? What are we supposed to do? <laughs> oh, fuck. Bathroom? Lock the door. What do we do? I don't want to restart. <laughs> no. Occupied. Just wait in here. <laughs> I like how the toilet paper's folded into a little triangle. Very fancy. I don't want to leave this room. I'm not leaving this room. No! Is he gonna leave? What do I do? What do I do? What do I do? Do I open the door? I recall in Home Alone, you just had to wait. <laughs> Let's just wait a really long time. What the fuck is wrong with our eyesight? So I guess we just go. Let's just go. Oh, 
Who is it? Joe, from the front desk. Open the door. Yeah, we may as well open it. We know there's someone in the closet. Hey, Joe? Didn't I specifically tell you not to wake anyone up? I didn't! I have complaints. What are you making all those goofy noises for? It's not me, guy. It's the guy in the closet. Whatever it is, just keep it down, miss. Is that... Why are your eyes all red? <sighs> Mention the coffee machine. Pretty sure someone spiked the drinks in the coffee machine, man. Are you messing with me? We don't have no coffee machine here. What? It's right over there. Okay, okay, here, I've had enough of you crazy goons here. For once, I thought we had a sober guest, but I guess I'm the crazy one here. Uh, follow me. I hate my job. <laughs> Lead Joe to the coffee machine? Okay. <laughs> the fuck? Okay. At least we survived so far. Come on, man, over here. It's not gonna be there. Yeah, it's gone. It's not there. It's not there. It was right here, I swear, man. Why is that trunk open? Was it before? Uh, go back to the room. I swear to God, it was right here. For some reason, his demeanor completely changed, I think is what it said. I swear to God, it was right here. I said go back now. I don't want to. Did you not hear me? I said go back to the room and don't get out. Check the table by the TV. There should be some medication in your room that should offer you some relief. Check the table by the TV. I don't... Oh my god, should we? Dude. This is scary. I would be... Terrified to be here. I guess we do what he says. The door's closed. Okay, take it. This is gonna be a mistake. Requires water. Do we have to go back to the bathroom? <gasps> the closet door's open. The closet door's open! I think there was a uh, water over here. Oh my god. <laughs> I do not like it here. This motel. <sighs> Zero stars out of five. For sure. What the hell? To get some water. Okay, we can't. Can we go in here? I assume we're meant to go to the bathroom. The sink in our room. What is this? What are those lights? Is that a vehicle? What the fuck? <laughs> uh, strange. I guess we're going back to our room. Or can we buy some here? Let's uh, get some soda so we can like sprint if we need to. Meat snack. Refreshing soda. Holy crap, there's so many options. Nachos. Well, let's just get some energy soda. <laughs> Why is there so many options? I guess let's go to our sink. I can't believe the closet's open. I'm scared. I don't want to go back in. The door was wide open. I have to close the door to get some water? At least the closet appears to be empty. <sighs> get it over with. I'm nervous. <laughs> Very nervous. Everything seems to be empty. Didn't feel safe going out. I think we're okay. Let's get in the bed. Did someone just take a picture? What? 
Am I here? Don't come in here. Pretty sure someone just took a picture through our window. Ugh. Oh god, it's creepy. <laughs> Don't like. What are we doing? Hello? Does the phone work? Hello? Oh my god, it's getting louder. It sounds like he's right next to me. Hello? I can't get out of bed. Can I? Oh, we can. Shit. Get back up. Hello. Uh, who is it? Please open the door. I need help. What do you want? I need your help. Please, please open the door. Do nothing. Don't open the door. There's nobody even there. Is there? Oh, there is. I know you're in there. Mm -mm. Is it someone in a dress? What? What do I do? Mm -mm. Just wait it out. Just wait it out. Not happening. <laughs> you could just leave. <laughs> Please. Leave. Let's get in bed. I miss my dad. Oh, we can look at our messages now. Uh, told you to take the flight. Did we get new messages from him? I don't think so. Did we go back to the door? Please leave. I just need to talk to you. I swear I'm not a cop. I don't even care. I'd rather you be a cop. Uh, please go away or I'm going to call the cops. Pretty lady, come on. <gasps> what? Get to the bathroom. Get to the bathroom. Close it. Close the door. Yeah, go back to the auto save. Holy shit. Can I save on my own? Are you kidding me? Are you fucking kidding me? Like I tried to close the door. And so I was like spamming it and then it closed and reopened. I don't know if you were meant to go in the bathroom and close the door. And I just... Hey, look at the picture on the wall there. Kinda creepy. Like one of the items we have to carry is a freaking hat. We need a full hand to carry a hat. You put it on your head. I think it's a hat. Yeah, it is a hat. All right, let's do this. Let's beat this. Hello? <sighs> so creepy. Who is it? What do you want? Do nothing. Please leave. <laughs> hey, hide.
What? <laughs> Did Joe just come and save the day? To this day, I find it really weird that the manager inferred not to get police involved as it would have affected Motel's reputation and let go of the situation. I believe that the town could have been home to a cult or a drug ring or possibly something even worse. Tommy arrived with the car after what felt like a year. I never went on long road trips again. I would always take airplanes. Oh my god. <gasps> I love the music at the end. It feels so good. Jesus. Definitely scary than Home Alone. A little bit more frustrating in that I had to replay a lot of what felt like padding <laughs> each time I had to retry, which is fine. The ending was good. I like how it used the microphone um, when he's in your room looking for you. That was good. A good detail. No wonder he got me when I went to the bathroom. I don't know if you, you probably couldn't hide in the bathroom. It looks like he went there regardless. So the closet is the way to go. But damn, this was good. This was a good game. <laughs> Poor Holly. I can't even imagine living through an experience like that. That would be terrifying. Either way, that was Fierce to Fathom, Norwood Hitchhike. Thank you so much yet again to Yuranko for gifting me this, plus the next one, which we'll be playing very soon. I had a lot of fun with it. I am looking forward to uh, more games in this series. A very unique flair they have. It definitely, like... Honestly, some of the most intense jump scares I've ever experienced. I know they're not too fancy and not terribly scary, but they're definitely scary. <laughs> I don't know how else to put it. They're the cheesy loud noise in your face jump scare, but they, they're very well done in this one and very effective and not too cheap. I don't know. I hope that makes sense. Either way, thank you so much for joining me for it. I hope you enjoyed. And if you did, give the video a like. If you want to see more like it, a subscribe. And I have to see you in the next one. Bye.